Hi, I'm Casey, I work in marketing, and today I'm reviewing the SmartPak Small Hole Hay Net. This is a fantastic economical hay net option, especially because it's very, very durable and it can hold a ton of hay. So I have a horse that is really, really tough on this thing. He whips it around and he bites all kinds of places on it and it's held up great. So if you have a horse that's tough on hay nets, this is a great option for you. This type of hay net is great for all horses. It's gonna, to some extent, mimic the natural grazing that horses would do normally. So taking in small amounts of food over a longer period of time. So these are three and a half centimeter holes so that way the horse is going to take in little little bits of forage you know and you know swallow some saliva as they're taking that in which is going to help to mimic how they might eat normally in nature. This hay net can be a great option for a variety of types of horses. So for example, easy keepers might be one that would be a great fit. So horses that get you know, just a couple flakes of hay at one time that tend to hoover through it. This is great because you can actually slow down how quickly the horse is eating the hay so they are able to keep more hay in front of them for longer without increasing how much hay you're giving them because they're easy keepers. It's also great if you have a horse that's prone to gastric issues. So if you've got a horse that maybe has to be in a stall for you know, longer periods of time, you want to be able to hopefully keep some sort of forage in front of them for you know, as long as possible. So again, having this type of a, a hay net that can slow down how long that hay is going to last is a good thing because you'll keep the hay in front of the horse for longer. Another thing that's nice if you've never used one of these types of hay, hay nets or hay bags in a stall is it will help to keep your stall cleaner. So you'll have less hay waste because it's all going to be contained in the bag. It's also great too if your horse travels a lot, it's pretty easy to hang up in a stall in a safe way so that you can keep you know, hay in front of your horse while you're traveling. Anyone who's used one of these hay nets knows that sometimes stuffing it can actually be a little bit tricky, but I do have one quick tip that will hopefully make it easier for you. So start with the opening at the top like this, and then what I do is I just reach my hand in about halfway down the bag, and then I allow it to kind of fold over on itself. So what I end up with is the bag kind of half folded over like this. The next step is you want to just put it on the ground as best you can and try to get it somewhat open. So kind of right like that. Then you want to take your hay and get it right into the opening, like this. So then the next step is all you have to do is just pull up around the hay, and it's easy to see if you can find the string. So I'm kind of following it as I go here. And I'll do it on the back. And once you get the string around the hay, all you do is lift, and there you go. So looking at this, this is just a small amount of hay that I'm just using here to show you this little trick. But as you can see, there's a lot of room left. And at this point, actually, if I wanted to put more hay in here, it'd be quite easy. I could just put it down on the ground. It will kind of rest open, and I can add as much as this bag will fit. Very, very simple. The last thing we want to talk about is how to safely hang one of these nets because it is really important that you're going to do it in a way so that your horse can't get a foot or his head or his neck somehow caught in the net. So what you want to do is the first place to start is you know maybe put a double-ended snap on the end of the line here and then you're going to need to loop this back around itself. And you might have to do this a couple of times just depending on how much you actually filled your net. Once you've done that, the goal here is that you want to hang this high enough so that your horse, again, can't get a foot or his head or his neck stuck in it. So you want to have it so that it's kind of flush up against the wall with no loose line near the back. Another trick you can use to keep this flush against the wall is you're going to have, obviously, a screw eye at the top with the double-ended snap here, but you could do the same thing below. So a screw eye in the wall and then a double-ended snap connecting the hay bag to the screw eye. So that will stabilize it at the top and at the bottom so that as your horse is feeding out of this, it's going to help keep it flush against the wall. Of course, every horse in every barn is going to be different, so just use your best judgment when you're hanging your hay net so that it's going to be safe for your horse in your barn. I'm Casey and the SmartPak Small Hole Hay Net is a great economical option if you're looking for a slow feeding hay net.